All right, what's going on, boys? Um, a bunch of people wanted my warm up slash practice uh, modes that I do every single day uh, to warm up my shot or to practice. So, if I want to practice and work on my snipes, if I want to work on my recoil control, tracking, or just get a quick warm up in, I'm going to show you guys two separate modes that you guys can make in Modern Warfare multiplayer. Uh, if you're really here and you want to improve at the game and you want to actually take this game serious then you guys should have no problem spending a little bit of money uh to get this game uh if you're really short on money and you really don't have access to it i would probably just try to get a physical copy uh this game's been out for three years i don't think you i don't think a disc version of this um would be very expensive but anyway all right, so before we jump into the game modes, I also want to quick I want to quickly show you my class setups that I practice with. Uh, they're these two right here. So I have a assault rifle that's just that. Uh, I wanted to pick a sort of an old meta weapon that has a bit of recoil, uh, and it's going to be the AMX here, completely meta build for Warzone. And my second one is a HDR. Now this is going to be the class setup for the HDR. It's also overkilled on the class. Uh, you want these uh, you want scavenger amped and overkill on your class specials bonus is nice but i wouldn't worry about customizing the actual specials bonus itself and uh, this is what i use this is the class setup i use for my assault rifle tracking as well as my sniper rifle practice uh, this is the class setup that i use for my recoil control uh, this gun pretty much here it looks so stupid but what this is is it, it has so much vertical recoil um, it doesn't really have much side to side recoil it's all vertical so it's basically once you use this gun and you practice and you get comfortable with this gun i promise you guys once you switch back uh to anything else your gun will feel like an absolute laser beam and the only way i can sort of explain it is you you will only know what i'm talking about when you actually go ahead and do this method so you're going to want to make this class setup right here on screen the end your secondary weapon for this class doesn't really matter uh, as well as this class setup right here that we showed so these two class setups make sure very important frag grenade and also uh, attack insert so we can die and get straight back to killing with full ammo again all right so let's just get right into it the first one we're going to show you guys is the practice mode this is what i use to practice recoil control to practice my tracking to practice anything that i want to practice what i'm feeling like if i'm feeling my close range if i want to you know long range whatever this is the mode i do and the things that i do to practice so for the practice mode we're going to want to play on a map with multiple different sight lines uh for long range assault rifle gameplay as well as sniper rifle practice uh we're going to pick you free these bridge um i always do free for all for my practice mode and i put the bots up to 11 and i also put them on the lowest difficulty possible the reason for this is so they don't throw stun grenades so there's less interruption uh when you're trying to practice uh if we look here we're gonna set the time limit to unlimited same with the score limit both set the unlimited uh then we're gonna go to the player you're gonna want to put on 200 and 200 health a lot of people say oh well why not two to three or 250 to 300 health to mimic warzone we're not trying to mimic warzone we're trying to give the enemies enough health so we can track a target boom dead move on to the next guy track a target move on to the next guy track a target we're not trying to focus too much on one enemy we'll be here all day um health regeneration just i guess just keep it on normal or fast i'm gonna put it on fast uh mini map enabled yes we want radar always on constant so we can find bots and you know we can find bots quicker and more of the, the more bots that you shoot obviously the more you know the more reps you're gonna get in uh in terms of gameplay you want starting ammo mags on max uh, a lot of this stuff, by the way, is going to carry over into the other mode that I'm going to show you guys. Um, start my eyes on my eyes. Health steal. Definitely enable health steal. You're going to want this because uh, when there's multiple different bots shooting at you, uh, if you zap one, then you can quickly turn and kill the other and you'll be full health. You won't have to worry about dying. Less time dying. More reps. 
alloy field upgrades yes see this uh field upgrade charge rate you're gonna want this on 10x and then you're gonna want the modifier on 10x as well just so you can get your field upgrade back quicker and the field upgrade that we're gonna use is the tech insert we'll get more uh we'll we'll get more to that later i think that's it for gameplay so that's everything right there that's everything so you want to copy those settings put the bots on recruit 11 and what you can actually do is if you go into your modes or your game rules sorry you can actually just press the start or options button and you can just save this as a mode just like i did um so yeah so for some reason i always like to start this warm-up with using the this class right here for the m4 i always like to start with this as sort of my warm-up i'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the recoil that we're gonna be working with that's uh like you're not gonna have a, a your your meta weapon on warzone isn't gonna be like that so if you can learn to control this gun then as you can see it looks like it has no recoil whenever i'm doing it because i'm literally practicing uh, i've been practicing with this setup for a while so i've got the recoil down um so a few key spots that i like to be at on the map let me actually turn down this so you guys can actually hear me a little bit better so a few key spots that i like to be for practice in my recoil control is just right here exactly where i'm standing so what i'll do is i'll come up to the top of these steps get a nice medium range kill right there kill that guy i'll come back there's a guy close range i'll check over here i'll come up kill that guy as you can see, there's a bot on the minimap. We have that constant radar we can see. Sometimes I'll even come over here and shoot the guy off this mound. There'll be a guy there. But yeah, I like to hang around this area when I'm practicing my SMG slash uh, recoil control class setup. Uh, and yeah, I'll just literally sit here, slide cancel around, and um, basically just go back and forward shooting bots and using this class setup. And I promise you guys... With the 200 health, as you can see, the 200 health, a, a, lot, a lot of people jack the health up to mimic Warzone, but what we're doing is, as you can see, I the, the health is still high enough to where we can get a little bit of practice in our tracking, but it's not too high to where we're focusing on one target for so long. As you can see, especially if they're at range. So yeah, that's what I like to do. Just hang around here, shoot bots for a while. And uh, yeah, once I'm feeling super warmed up, once I've shot around 100 bots doing this, as you can see, we're, we're already on 26, we're flying. Uh, once I feel kind of warmed up and I feel like I'm in a really good spot in terms of my recoil control, what I'll do is I'll switch to this class, which is my AMAX and Sniper class. And I'm not even joking, guys, when you switch weapon off this gun and you switch to an actual like decent weapon, wow, the gun... I mean, the gun just feels like it doesn't move, bro. This thing feels amazing because you've been uh, practicing with that other gun. This thing doesn't move anymore. And it, it, what's nice is the AMAX is one of those guns that a lot of people struggled with. You know, a lot, a lot of people, when the AMAX was meta, a lot of people actually couldn't use it because they thought the recoil was too high. But, I mean, this thing is an absolute laser beam now because I'm used to, uh, I'm used to pulling down a lot more. As you can see, long-range kill right there. So... Basically, what we're, I mean, we're, we're at the spot. Let me show you. So I like to come up here, put attack insert down. And basically, this is where I'll stay for practice my AR shot as well as my uh, sniper shot. So I like to come up here, shoot a couple of bots, switch to the sniper. And I'll just shoot. I'll just stay up here. Honestly, the bots don't come behind you. The only way they come up is this staircase right here. I haven't had them come behind me once. But yeah. I like to just literally come right here and just practice on just shooting heads. That's it. And it's really, really nice as well, especially if, the, if you have that spatial bonus, because you'll end up getting you end up getting a uh, sleight of hand on your snipers. As you can see, standing in this spot, I used to stand over at the other side of the bridge, but I stand on this side now, and this is where I basically go if I want to practice my aim uh for long range as well as sniper rifles as i come up here and this long sight line what i like to do is i like to try to shoot the bots that are crossing from right to left you can see them spawn back there on the radar and you can uh yeah so i basically just shoot like 100 150 bots over there with the max recoil control weapon 
or the max recoil weapon and then i come over here with my long range weapon on my snipe rifle and i just shoot bots for hours honestly all right so now we're going to be looking at the the warm-up portion of the video this is going to be for if you think your accuracy recoil control everything if you think everything is pretty up to scratch and you don't really need to practice and you just want to get a quick warm-up then this is going to be the mode for you so as you can see the map down the bottom left is already different we're on gulag shars we're also on team deathmatch and not free for all uh time limit unlimited score limit unlimited uh, we want max health on a hundred okay max health on a hundred uh we want health regeneration on fast i'm just sort of skimming through this making sure i don't miss anything we want kill comms disabled and not enabled Good thing I went back on this. Uh, Minimap constant radar and health steel enabled starting ammo mags on max. Now, I would probably only do this warm up for maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes. This is such an intense warm up in terms of you know what you're actually practicing you're 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 juggling multiple enemies, you're using your movement, you're reading the the minimap and you're just you know trying to use your cover around you so you're practicing a lot at once here so if you can only do 10 minutes of this before your fucking head and your brain is fried honestly that's perfectly okay so uh we're gonna use a smg class i like to have the ar and the sniper on one and the max recoil control on the mp5 on the other like i said it doesn't really matter i would probably recommend sleight of hand for your smg and uh yeah and now you just kill bots on this and don't like this is going to be insane especially with the kill comms off uh if you want a little bit more controlled uh for this you're gonna want to turn kill comms back on if this is a little bit crazy for you you're gonna want to turn kill comms on and that'll funnel the bots in one by one by one and it'll be super controlled uh but if you like fast pace just crazy fast warm-ups this is definitely going to be the one for you. As you can see, it's crazy. We've already done... We've already killed 21 bots. And the thing has only started. This is crazy. As you can see, you're so quick to die because there's multiple bots shooting at you at once. And the health is only on 100. So... Yeah. If you want to practice a new sensitivity or whatever... <laughs> this is definitely the place you're gonna want to go obviously as you can see that health steal is really nice that that health steal because the health is on 100 every time you kill a bot you get your health back so it's really really nice but yeah this is my practice mode it took me a while to find this i've been uh practicing multiple different ways and uh yeah i think this is super beneficial to jump on and do before you start gaming and this is a really quick one too you know this isn't this is a nice warm-up that you can fit in you know five minutes before you play this is not something that's gonna you know it's not it's not like the practice mode where it's literally there for to shoot hundreds of bots and practice this is literally something you can do very quickly to warm up and as you can see i'm 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 reading my mini map and I'm, I'm taking cover i'm juggling different enemies i'm snapping to multiple targets as you can see like this is not this is not a chilled warm-up. This is not what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be crazy. Uh, and I wouldn't recommend putting the bots past five. I think five is honestly enough. As you can see, it's just crazy. I would try to throw in as much movement as possible if I were you guys as well. And get a nice practice in. Or a nice, you know. But yeah. That's going to be it for the video, I guess. If you guys have any questions or any... Maybe, maybe you guys can uh, tweak a few things and let me know in the comments what, what you would do to change this. Obviously, when Modern Warfare 2 comes out, I'm going to be, you know... I'm going to be trying to find multiple different warm-ups as well on that game. So if you guys want me to share my findings uh, in Modern Warfare 2, just let me know. But I usually have a warm-up like this on every single COD game. Hope you guys enjoy the video, man. That's going to be it for me. We've shot 93 bots and we've only been here for a couple of minutes. That's what I'm saying. If you're shooting bots for 10 minutes in this mode, it is such, such a good warm-up. warm, warm -up. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Like and subscribe if you're new. And let me know if you want more stuff like this. I'll definitely be interested to try to find even more ways to warm-up or practice. Because... Uh, 
this stuff right here is super beneficial for me. So yeah, maybe it'd be beneficial for you guys. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Smash the like button if you're new and subscribe for more. It's me, Mo. Peace.